Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. While we're looking at the great Divi Supreme modules plugin here, it's a premium plugin that you can add to the Divi theme and it really does give you some fantastic options. They do have a free version also and you can download either from my link below the video. What we're going to do today is be looking at the pop-up extension. Now the extensions that come with Divi Supreme Pro really do stand it apart from some of the other plugins. So let's get started. If you enjoy this video today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It lets me know whether to make more videos on a particular subject or not. So once you've got Divi Supreme installed, if I go to my dashboard here, you'll see a little icon over here. If you click on it, it'll take you to their page. And here are the extensions, and there's some fantastic features. We've covered most of these, and we've done examples with these in the past, but I've never really done an overview. One of my favorites here is the pop-up that we're looking at today. So you want to go in here, if you want to use this, make sure that's switched to purple, and save your changes. And what the pop-up extension actually does is enable you to pop up just about anything from anything. For instance, I've got a blur module here. If I click on it, I can pop up a map. I've got a little image there. If I click on it, it'll pop up a little blurb module. I've got a button here. If I click on it, I can pop up a video. And all of these options you can do from any module. I've got a little title here. I'll pop up an image from that bit of text here pops up a little privacy policy there and we've got a full page one here and this one's set to close after 10 seconds there we are it's closed out really easy to do so the way this works is you save things to your libraries and this will work with sections you can do it with a whole page you can do it with a row you can do it with videos. So let's save something to our library. So let's enable the visual builder. And you can do this with a row, you can do it with a section, you can do it with a whole page. You can do it with individual modules, you can do it with the image or videos. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you've got to make sure you've got Divi Supreme Pro installed and activated and you've got to make sure you've got enable Divi pop-up switch to purple like that to be able to do this today. So save whatever it is to your library, we can save this section. Little round icon just to the left of the trash can right there. Hit that, give it a name. Something that makes sense to you, pop section. Save it to your library. And you can also go in and just save a single row like this or just a single module if you want to again just hit that save it to your library okay so I'm going to create a new row here now if you just save stuff to your library and you, you want to pop it up you've got to save your page changes and refresh for it to pop up in your library there to be in your library list I'm going to use some that are actually in my library already so I don't need to do that so I'm just going to add three little blurb modules. I'm not going to put a title in. I'll just put a little icon in there instead of the image there. And let's duplicate that a couple of times. Just hit the two little squares to duplicate, drag it across. It doesn't matter which one you drag across, they're all, all three of them are identical. Okay, we got three little modules there, and this will work with any modules. I'm just using blurbs for an example. Now, if we want to use this to pop up one of our saved library items, simply go in there, go over to advanced, down to visibility, and you're going to find this switch. As long as you've got that extension turned on, you're going to find the switch, use pop up. Now you can choose to pop up a layout that's from your library an iframe an image or a video and we'll do an example of a couple of these 
So if you choose layout, it'll ask you for your library here. Here's your library. I've got a lot of things in my library. I'm just going to pop up. There's, I've got a whole section there I can pop up. Now you can trigger it on module click or button if there's a button. You can trigger it from an image. You can trigger it from a hyperlink. Page load, when the page loads you can trigger it straight away. You can trigger it on scroll when people scroll down the page. And you can trigger it on exit intent. Exit intent, like I mentioned earlier, is when they go up to exit out of the site. I'm going to trigger mine on the module, so when they click on the actual blurb module here, it's going to pop, pop up. You've got a choice where to close your triggers, outside pop up or a close button. You can auto close it by giving it a time. If you switch this on, put a time in seconds in there, let's say seven, seven S, it'll auto close after seven seconds. You've got all kind of entrance and exit animations to use here for both fading in and fading out. Pop up position, yeah, I want it central. I want it absolute to stay where it is. Don't want them to be able to scroll up and down while they're doing this. If you put the full width on, I'll put it on for this one. It'll cover the entire area of the screen here and you won't see your header or your footer. Without that, you'll still see your header and footer and the elements behind. Show overlay. Well, that darkens out the background and gives focus to whatever you're popping up here. And you can choose your color and what do you want to do here. If you want to show the close button, leave that to on. By default, it's a little X, which is pretty standard for closing things. And you've got a font size here. You can make it bigger or smaller and decorate it with colors here. So that's it for our pop-up. Use Read More is a different extension that we demonstrated in our last video. So we've got that one on this particular blurb. Let's do something different from this one. Again, we'll just go in and perhaps have a video to pop up. So let's go to Advanced, go to Visibility again, use Pop Up. There it is. This time we'll pop up a video. And just put, pop your video URL in below here. You've got one of my YouTube videos there. Again, you can use the same triggers. I'm going to use module and the same things down below. I won't go through them again. And this one, let's perhaps pop up an image from this one. So again, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go to advanced visibility, use pop up. This time I'm going to use an image. So there we go. And it'll ask you to select the image from your library here. So any image will do. And again, you can choose the size. You can make it full width if you want to. In fact, let's do that with this. Let's make it uh, full width for this image. Great. So we've got three examples there, and that's how easy it is. Let's save our page changes here. And exit the Visual Builder. Yeah, let's just go down a little bit. There we go. There's our first one. When I click on it, it pops up our full screen image there. That was on a timer. This second one right here, I think we had a video for. There we go, pops up the video. And again, click anywhere outside and it'll close it down. There's also a little trigger up there. And this one, we've got a full screen image. Let's click on this one. There it is, we've got a nice big image there. Click outside the image. So there we go, there's three little examples for you. Like I say, that is a fantastic feature for making pop-ups. Just make sure you've got your enable pop-up switch to on and you can do all kind of things. So there you go, guys. There's an overview of the Divi Supreme Modules pop-up extension. Fantastic feature. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.